Alright, so I got it. Look, Andrew said I need to get one of these. Second time, what do you think of it, bro? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You know, just cutting an $1,800 transmission. It's actually not as thick as I thought it was. Cutting the studio nine transmission for the fat box kit. Going to be putting that on that to that. All right, so this is a CDO one. I actually thought it was a CDO three or whatever. Thought it is. They don't have a CDO one. So we're taking off that front cover because we got the FabBot adapter kit, which comes with this. And this bolts up to the CD trans. Once we put that on the CD trans, it then utilizes a Chevy Silverado bell housing. And then there's an internal sleeve, some lines and stuff. It's a pretty nice kit, honestly. Um, all you have to do is take an angle grinder and cut off the original bell housing and then we're gonna have to clean this up probably and stuff so but yeah that's what we're working with all right so we're torquing these to 18 foot pounds and uh yeah we placed the trans on the garbage can and sim just took the trans to the knee so i'm gonna owe him new knees in a couple years but uh it's pretty easy honestly Nah, it wasn't magnetic. Nah. Alright, so I'm draining the LS. Oil looks really clean. Is that metal shavings or sludge? To be determined. So we got to take off the F-body uh, oil pump because we need a front sump pump or a front sump pan. And... All right, so Sammy officially wrapped this up. CDO 9 LS, pretty sick. Fat Bud actually made a dope ass kit. What do you think? Like as far as um, like quality. It's pretty good. I wish they uh, spaced the back of the sleeve instead of the straw bearing, because that's a little goofy. But Fire. I guess it works. I've seen like other kits where you can actually shim the back and it's out. And that will give you a bunch more room, but I don't know. Yeah, that is weird. I don't know. So, supposedly third gear grinded in this, so we're just gonna fucking send it. <laughs> Find out the hard way. All you need is third. Hey, guys! This is not look good. That's a lot of metal. I literally, whenever, yeah, yeah, whenever they left, did I not run out the door like, yo, propane, they dude, as soon as you did, yeah, and I was like, they already fucking left. Oh, yeah, that old little drive, so, down the drive. So, we hit a little, uh, hold on, we hit a little stopping point, so, yeah, that's super metally, and, yeah, so, we're gonna pull all the bearings and check them and stuff and see if we have a spun rod or spun bearing, but, um. Uh, it looks worse than I think it actually is, but it's, it's bad. It's as bad it's as it looks. <laughs> it's as bad as. It... <coughs> so, yeah. All right, so I went to the store, got some new assembly lube. The dude I bought the motor off of told me to put it back together, and uh, you know if it starts ticking or something, I'll buy it back. But um, yeah, we're sort of assembly lube these up work them back to spec and then put the ISR oil pan on it so pretty exciting all right so we went ahead and cleaned that got the new ISR pickup tube on um, I just put the gasket over there and then this is the ISR oil pump or oil pan it's pretty
pretty nice. Got a nice baffle and stuff inside it. What are you looking for? Bolts? See if they have a plug for the dipstick too, but I don't think they do. All right, so I went ahead. And we got the oil pan on here officially. Um, this is the ISR oil pan. I personally don't know anybody that's used it, so let me just give you a rundown real quick. These are all six mil. These two 10 mils back here are uh, five millimeter. And then, um, yeah, this, you're gonna have to cut an Allen key to get tight, kind of a pain in the ass. And this honestly might be the worst oil, uh, oil drain plug I've ever seen made, but it has to work, right? It's brand new. So that's all wrapped up. Um, yeah, we're making really good progress on this. So I'm gonna put the camera down, keep chugging. We got the uh, dipstick to put in still, and <coughs> yeah, I think that's about everything. Obviously, we got the flywheel clutch pressure plate. Um, need to take the old flywheel off, but yeah, we're making good progress. Pretty happy with it. All right, now we need clutch specs for this. So we're putting on the clutch. Looks pretty badass, honestly. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the phone down so I get the torque specs. But damn, check her out. Well, it's the next morning, and uh, yeah, we're burning about $4,000 worth of boxes. Thank you, ISR, Fabbot, and uh, Cyberclutch, whoever the hell sent me that last swap stuff. Thanks for starting this fire. $4,000 fire right here. <laughs> yeah, so Sam got a new truck. It had a diesel, turbo diesel in it. He's pulling it out to put uh, LS in it, so. We're at the, uh, his new shop. A little field trip. Literally all we got left is the motor mount and it's ready to come out. Didn't really film any of it because it's a side quest, but this truck's dope as hell. I gotta show them the lazy boys. Probably like two lazy boys in it. It's probably underneath the truck still. Thinking about putting a twin size air mattress in the back for events, right? No, 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 no. a real one. A real one what? Air mattress is so. Oh no, a oh, real mattress. Twin twin size mattress, not air mattress. <laughs> Thanks. What's that? All right, so it's disconnected from the trans. Just gotta remove the power steering lines. Forgot to do that, but separated. There's a bunch of room back there, so it's really easy to remove the bell housing bolts, which is awesome. This thing is a unit though. It's like driving a... This thing's basically like a... Um... This thing's basically like a camper, but a truck. It's like the best way to put it with like the big ass... Like that's a full size door. This is as big as the front door. It's crazy. Custom uh, radio. Thanks a unit. Like a mega punch, <laughs> and then I go up here and I'm like, Nope, not bad at all. Officially out. Dude, look at that. That torque converter is big as fuck. Does it just pull off then? Yeah, I'm not pulling it out. Okay, fluid everywhere, yeah. So, yeah, just imagine an LS right in there. Dude, it's gonna look so <laughs> It's like squatting on the passenger side. You know what? The little Dakota that could, bro. The fucking... All right, look, ready? Wheel gap, it's like a whole hand and some. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Fuck yeah. How we doing? We backing it in, girl. <laughs> girl? the fuck? Oh, Bro, yeah. what are we doing? We're back in the room. <laughs> Let the good times roll. <laughs> oh yeah.